what we are hearing from the military and from the government, they're now in full control uh, of the shopping center. However, they haven't said that the whole thing is over, and I suspect it's not. Uh, the Al Shabaab gunmen, they say that two have been killed. Uh, we believe there will be a lot more than that, and they may well uh, be moving from the various shops and, uh, in, in the building that they have been using uh, over the last day or so. Condition of hostage, of course, is an interesting one as well, because I think that the Kenyan authorities have been using a collective now for hostages, being anyone who was inside the shopping centre, even if they were hiding, not necessarily hostages, as one might assume, that were actually being held by al-Shabaab. So I think they have been able to rescue some. The latest reports are that they did actually get some back from who were being held by al-Shabaab, but we're going to have to wait for more uh, clarification on that. But I think what is, it is fair to say is that this was a significant uh, development by the uh, Kenyan forces. This was a major attempt to get inside and to attack al-Shabaab, and that they certainly seem to be in much more control now of the situation than they were only a few hours ago when it was quite clear for the amount of gunfire that was coming out of the shopping centre to the positions where we are that uh, al-Shabaab fighters were still uh, moving around. At one point, they appeared to be firing from a roof. And, uh, more firing again. You can probably hear it behind me. It's quite heavy. I'll uh, just go down. Yeah, this, uh, this is quite heavy firing, and uh, some of these uh, rounds are coming across the position that we're in. Uh, we were taking cover, so quite clearly this isn't over as, uh, as we suspected. They're usually in the air when the firing is taking place. Um, it either sometimes they, they are giving covering fire themselves, or it's certainly giving positions to the uh, Kenyan forces. So clearly, uh, this situation continues. As we suspected, Al Shabaab gunmen, some may have been uh, uh, killed, but others are certainly moving around. And uh, it's been quiet for the last couple of hours, but. Uh, Certainly, it seems to have um, uh, ignited itself uh, once again. And I'm, one is assuming it's when uh, the Kenyan soldiers uh, and the special forces encounter uh, the small groups of Al Shabaab fighters, wherever they may be, in this huge complex. One has to bear in mind four or five stories, including basements, and the Shabaab certainly have been, um, to our understanding, moving around. I can hear banging again, uh, quite a lot of firing again. Uh, this is a bit further away from our position now. Uh, probably more inside uh, the shopping complex itself.